this is Mr. Yogesh Ramanathan. Hi, Yogesh. Uh, Hi. Yeah, it's wonderful. Uh, I mean, uh, I I just I didn't realize that there is an Indian company here, and the last thing I was expecting was like an Indian flying car. Yeah. You know, uh, it's so difficult to drive a car in India, and uh, thinking of a flying car. Oh my God, that that's really uh, amazing. I mean, I it brought a smile on my face, and the first stall that I visited in. Helitech was Indian company stall, so that that's really amazing. So, why don't you tell us a little bit about your company, yeah. uh, and uh, what when did you start it? Maybe your story, maybe your journey, what kind of difficulties you're facing. So, let's start with what is Vinata, uh, Vinata Air Mobility uh, yes. all about? See, first of all, uh, thank you, Gaurav. Vinata Air Mobility, the name itself, if you research, Vinata means mother of birds. Since okay. we are working on this flying birds, right? I can say, we call it. So we researching this name quite some time. We researching, and then we found Vinata means mother of birds. So that's all about Vinata came. Vinata okay, aero mobility. Yeah, it's an ancient myth in Mahabharata. Vinata means mother of uh, Garuda. That's okay, called Mahabharata, Vinata. which Mahabharata. is our. Oh, ancient uh, story yes, yeah, exactly. about Pandavas and yes, Kauravas. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So we are working this concept quite some time, three to four years almost. Uh, start from 2018 onwards. You know, by okay. the time if you look globally, there are hardly very few companies are in this space, urban air mobility space. We can name few, yeah. that much of companies. And now if you look, there are more than 200 companies are working in this space globally. Wow. That's the industry rapidly is developing. So, uh, we are uh, working on this space three to four years and uh, we thought, you know, we want to unveil this product very fast because, you know, working and sitting idle, keep quiet, doing all the research activities and start developing a product development, yes. you know, since you know, you are also into product development, you know, yes. what is, what all challenges we face this. I understand. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, we want to unveil this product and recently our Indian government, you know, our Honorable Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi himself launched a drone policies 2021 and uh, recently drone PLI schemes for a manufacturers like us and that excites us, you know, to uh, unveil this product very fast. Okay. In fact, uh, his vision to be, our Honorable Prime Minister vision to be 2030 will be the drone hub of India. Right, so we want to unveil this product. So we want to bring this product to our civil aviation ministry, who uh, Mr. Jodi Raditya Sindhya, who himself introduced this product to the uh, world. And after that, directly we are came to here the largest uh, Helitech Expo in the world. So which we are unveiling today our concept That's of great. the flying car. So why don't you tell us a little bit about your product? What's the name of the product? Its name is Vinata. No, the product name uh, we kept it uh, highly confidential this point of time. Okay. And very soon we will uh, hear from us. Uh, you know, we are uh, looking a very good name from the researching that also. You know. Okay. That's, and very soon fine. we will come up with that. Yeah. And uh, tell us a bit more about so, this product. Yeah. So our product is going to be a quadcopter, and it's going to be a multi-purpose quadcopter flying car. So it can be the same platform can be used in a passenger and uh, cargo as well as in ambulance and other rescue operations like a police surveillance and army or defense purposes. So if it is a passenger, it's going to be a two seater. And if it is a cargo, it's going to be take off a 250 kgs of the weight okay. can lift up to 250 kg weight. So that's all about our product. And this is going to be a Asia's first hybrid electric VTOL technology. When okay. I am saying Asia's first, in Asia there are many companies, few companies working in this particular space on the electric. They are all pure electric. And we are working on the hybrid electric platform. Okay. That's going to give us an enormous range, endurance. So that's we opted for this uh, hybrid technology. Okay. And when it's cruising, it's going to be a biofuel. It's going to be a highly sustainable product. And when it comes for uh, takeoff and landing, it's going to be electric. By on by road, if okay. I want to travel a short in route distance, it's going to be electric. So, what do you mean is that when it is starting or taking off, it will use electric energy? Electric energy, yes. And yeah. then it's cruising, it's going to be in a hybrid. 
but using uh, a biofuel. Okay, so sounds good, but what about uh, filling up this biofuel? How, how are people going to fill we this? Are, we are working with some few uh, manufacturers, uh, producer of uh, fuel, biofuel in India. And okay. by the time our product will be mature enough and we are, today we unveiled our product uh, officially. And uh, very soon, by 2023, you can expect a first flight which is going to happen very soon. And the same, this exhibition, next year we booked a B4, which is going to be a bigger stall, That's which we great. have booked. And you watch us, we will come up with a more surprise next year, same yeah. expo. I would love to see the real prototype instead of this uh, uh, miniature one, but it sounds really cool. Yeah, we are, we yeah. are, you know, like you, the whole uh, world, especially we got an enormous, you know, support from every yeah. Indian uh, dreams, you know. So that's way we are working. We make, uh, we are now more responsible than ever now. That's yeah. how now are you are, uh, that's how yeah. you are support, you know, given us. Yes. No, no, everybody is expecting that, you know, there must be something really cool. And how do you guys, uh, so I, like, uh, I have some knowledge about this area. And uh, the, I think the most important challenge is the safety yes. for the passengers because what if uh, it falls, what if it fails, what if the fuel or the battery goes down, what, yeah. how exactly so you are So, wonderful, that? wonderful Gaurav, uh, you know, that's just a new technology and new mobility which is going to come in the world, you know, globally it's going to evolve very soon, you know. So, our safety features, if you look, it's going to be a distributed electric propulsion. We can shortly call it as a DEP. Suppose, you know, I have a two uh, hybrid uh, engine, which is going to be a front and rear. If one fails, other can support me to land off safely wherever I am. Same like a current aviation technology. Okay. Nothing new which we are doing. Only thing is that technology, the product is new, but the technology which we opted from the learn from the aerospace only. So all I can say of the product is going to be an integrated technology of aerospace and a drone technology. Okay. And uh, another question that I had was because in India, the, still the regulations are, I think, very premature and in the initial stages, stages. and most of the times, you know, you get a lot of, uh, uh, you know, uh, I mean, it, in India, the, the policies don't change so fast, right? So, and how, how do you plan to, I mean, I mean, my first question is, uh, do you need an airport for this or do you can you not at all not fly at all. from your home or from see, a park or how, how does it work see one thing is very clear i said it's going to be vtol vertical takeoff and landing that needs some mini airport it's not airport it's a verti port right okay. so it's going to be operated not only in india or asia it's going to be the entire world any part of the world this product needs a verti port mandatory like a helipad yeah exactly okay. exactly so verti takeoff and landing yeah so that verti ports mandatorily required as per their respective DCA right now, but it guidelines. might change i think in future it might change in the future but not yeah. now you know we need to look after the immediate business model not the too long term right yeah. so if you look immediate business model you know uh, are in, you see the government policies of india which rolled out of uh, 2021 drone policies no one has expected yeah. right similar way there are a lot of surprises on the way from our government yeah. I mean, and a few years back, uh, it was difficult to even fly the drone. company. Yeah, exactly. Register a company well which, which is well into, you know, And aerospace. currently, if you look globally, USA yeah. and Europe already policy in place. There yeah. are companies, big boys like uh, there are Joby, Archer, Volvo, Copter. These are the companies who already Lilium, especially. These are the companies who already having a proven prototype and it is certified from their respective uh, agencies. So yeah. very soon. In India, we are also going to register our product in uh, not only in uh, DGCA, we are also focusing on Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, SA and DGCA. So our product is going to be a global product. From India, we are ready for race. When do you think uh, a prototype is going to be there which we see flying in the air, maybe in a restricted uh, maybe area? Maybe in another yeah. two years of time. Okay. Because the, our design and development, we reached in a certain stage. Now we are ready to launch, you know, and ready to move a full-scale prototype. So that is how we felt like this is a time where we want to unveil our concept. So the, the world knows that we are also working in this space. Yes, definitely. Uh, so this was uh, Mr. Yogesh Ramanathan uh, from Vinata Aeromobility. And uh, thank you, Yogesh. Thank you, Go. It was a pleasure talking to you thank and you so uh, looking forward to see a flying car from India very soon. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you. Thank Bye. You.